if you know this, but on Netflix, on Netflix, it is possible to run out of genocide documentaries. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I had to queue up Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> which you don't know is a uh, program where young ladies try to pick out a gown to wear on their nuptials. And it's very similar to a genocide documentary. <laughs> and that nobody is learning from history. Uh, I just want, it's my day. It's a very important day. It's the most important day. It's my day. I just want, I just want, I just want to spend a thousand dollars on a thing. I just want, just something that grows, that over land and sea and affects generations and the children and the children of the children's children. Oh, oh, my fiance. Oh, <laughs> he is irrelevant. <laughs> Everybody says how easy it is to cook, but it is not any easier than not cooking. <laughs> oh, just get a really good virgin olive oil. Uh, Girl Scout cookie wrapped in meat. <laughs> no, just slice up a couple of vegetables. <sighs> Squeezy cheese on finger, can of wine. Ow. <laughs> no, just preheat the oven. Ah! Hot power bar from glove compartment. Ooh, doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. Ooh. <laughs> Fresh from the oven. I wish they would provide recipes for food that you can get at the gas station. <laughs> Have you ever had a gas station tuna fish sandwich? Oh my God, it's so good because there's no tuna in it. <laughs> it's just a scrumptious fishy nougat. <laughs> or a gas station muffin. Oh, <gasps> those glorious golden giants. You'd have to start with the color yellow. But how do they make them seem so real? I always want to call up on those cooking shows and say, uh, Hi, my husband and I, we love this show. We're having guests come over at 6. Um, so I'm going to pick up the Slurpees at 545. <laughs> the corn dog taquito rollers, in order to keep them warm, do I just sit on them? <laughs> You guys, um, trying to be a good person. Uh, my sister is a life coach, uh, so I've been trying to challenge her with my negative thoughts. Uh, mm. Marie, you got one for me? Sure. Uh, I'm worried I'm too old to be in show business. Mm. Betty White, Dame Judi Dench, Joan Rivers, you're not old enough. Hit me. <laughs> okay, uh, fear I'll never be in a loving, committed relationship. Ugh. I don't know, pass, pass. I'll go back, I'll go back. <laughs> okay, fear of this scenario. You lose everything, including your mind, except the part of your mind that knows that you lost everything. <laughs> Somehow, you end up in the Philippines, walking the streets of Manila in a bunch of itchy, filthy sweater remnants, plucking a one-string banjo. Bling! No baggage, hitting bottom as a jumping off point. What a gift! <laughs> it's true. It's a gift. Uh, I love my family, and uh, we play this game mostly around the holidays, but I'm sure your family might play it too. We call it Joy Whack-A-Mole. Uh, what happens is somebody brings up something that they're really happy about, and the other person tries to slam it down. <laughs> Lots of fun. Um, I was playing with my dad. Uh, I said, Dad, check out this new jacket. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah. Guess how much? <gasps> I don't know, 50 bucks. No, 10. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks. How do they do it? Oh, I was reading about that. Slavery. 
<clears throat> yeah, they don't pay them, and then they pass the savings on to you. <laughs> it's a pretty nice jacket, though, Doc. <laughs> it, cre it creates interest, and then it skims the profile. My mom is truly the best at this game, though. Uh, mom, Amy had her baby. Oh, that is great news, honey. I mean, it's not the greatest news for the 600,000 kids in foster care in this country, but if she wants a fresh one, oh, jeez. <laughs> Everybody wants one that looks like them. It's so selfish. Uh, mom, I'm doing a show tonight. Sweetie, I have a joke for you. Yeah, and it, it, this friend of mine, she said you could use it. She's just a hoot. She is so funny. She, she coincidentally, she was in foster care. She was airlifted out of the Sudan in the late 90s because she had been bearmed and belegged by the Zhajawi, the horseback militia. She's so funny. She'd love to do stand-up, but she can't. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's a real hospice situation, just a matter of time, but the priest comes in and she's an animist. She worships her ancestors. And he says, would you like us to light a candle for you in the chapel? Well, she says, sassy as you please, <laughs> teletyping through her eyelids. <laughs> well, how many candles you got? <laughs> because so many horrible things have happened to her and keep happening. Sweetie, have a good show tonight. What you do is so important. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. Thanks a lot. So you and Matt broke up. That's hard. That's tough. Sweetie, what do you want to say to Matt tonight? <laughs> We'll play that for you. That's Penny Lover by Lionel Richie. Sometimes when I watch porn, I put my hoodie on so I feel creepier. <laughs> <laughs>